Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful brick stitch earrings like a staircase. Usually in my tutorials I'm showing how to make an increasing or a decreasing brick stitch like these earrings and I'll give a link to them as well to see them but uh, I never showed how to make this type of stairs like going out and going in so in this tutorial this will be the difference and as always I'm providing a pattern and as always I will say that here I have another tutorial where I'm showing uh, how to make your own beading pattern and you could see it as well I'm showing step by step and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself uh, if it's difficult start with the previous tutorial that I showed you and then go back to this one if you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and you will be inspired often usually twice a week down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials uh, mainly on Facebook and Instagram I will be expecting your beautiful works to see them you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and you could also check my second channel with the fast clips now I will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 -0 Delica beads, Mayuki Delica and here I use earring findings. This is nylon thread size D which is 0.2 millimeters. The brand is Nemo. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors and I'm also providing a pattern here and you will see it through the whole tutorial so you will be able to follow it. Okay so now what I'm going to do is take an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm here and I'm gonna be following my pattern using the famous brick stitch and you will see it here at the left corner and also here. So I'm starting it by picking up five black beads one two three four five. So I will take them like this. First I take Two black beads don't worry if you're not familiar with the brick stitch i'm showing really slowly and easy and step by step so i'm sure you're gonna be able to make it okay so now i'm taking two delica beads uh, next to each other and here i want to do a knot okay i make a knot and now what i want to do is make them stay next to each other just like this Okay, I'm going through one of them if you don't see what I do. Okay, going through one of them. And uh, then I'm going through the other one. Okay, and you see now how they stay next to each other. Now what I need to do is take three more black beads and make them stay the same way. Okay, one and go back through the previous. Okay, and pull. Now I have three and now I go through this one. Just like this. And now I take the fourth one. Go like this. Only the first row is uh, strange and a little bit difficult then it becomes easier okay now i have four and here is the fifth one according to my pattern i need five okay and i'm going back through the same one here okay so now i have my five beads and what I'm going to do is follow along with my pattern. Now I have four black beads. Okay, and now I will start my brick stitch and I will start it with decreasing brick stitch. And all the time I will be showing you increasing brick stitch and decreasing brick stitch. With the brick stitch, you always start your row with two beads. Okay, now I'll take two blacks because I need to add four beads in this row. And now you see these thread bridges between my beads. I will use them 
to make my break stitch and now because I'm decreasing I won't go through the first thread bridge but I will go through the second which is between my second and third bead that I added okay and I go here like this now you see those newly added beads how they don't stay uh, in the same direction like the ones in my previous row that is why I want to go one more time with my thread reinforcing them when I go through the second thread bridge and make a decreasing break stitch uh, they stretch a little bit that is why they stay wonky and you need to go one more time this is when you decrease when you increase you don't need to go second time through them okay but now I'm going to show you in my next steps I'm going to be adding them one by one so I'm taking one black bead and I'm going through the following thread bridge okay and then again through it through the same bead that I'm adding only in my first step I add two then in my next steps I add one by one the beads okay and here I have one more thread bridge and I go through it just like this okay now I have my second row ready and my third row consists of black green black you see this is the third row uh, let me focus and it consists of black green black okay so now what I like to do is flip my work like this and I'm decreasing again so I will add three beads here and the first one is black and the second one is green according to my pattern and what I do is that I want to go through the second thread bridge again because I'm still decreasing the number of beads in my next rows okay now what I do is that I go one more time I go through the green which is closer to the center and to my thread and I want to reinforce those newly added two beads and now I will take one more black bead and finish this row okay okay now I will flip my work it's not obligatory but I prefer to flip because I feel it's better so now my next row consists of one two three black beads two green beads and one two three black beads and you also see it here at this corner but first guys I'm going to add this black and green and from there on I will add these beads okay guys and now I will take a black and a green as I told you okay and because I'm increasing I will go through the first thread bridge here I'm going here through the thread bridge that is between this black and green okay like this and then through this green one if it's loose just pull it up okay and now you see according to my pattern here I have this black that is sticking out a little bit here you see and now I have two more black beads and in order to add them I will exit through this black one take just one and add them like you did in your first row okay take one go here like this then one more 
because after this black bead you have two more black beads okay and now what you do is just go back to the green and i will show you how you continue but we have this nice edge here done now in my next step i'm taking one green bead and i'm going in the next thread bridge and this is increasing brick stitch that i'm showing now like this then in my next step i'm adding one more black and i'm adding it at the same thread bridge where i added the last green one when i make increasing brick stitch i always add one more bead at my last thread bridge of the row so i add two at the last bridge okay and now i take one black go back like this to add it then one more time through it and then one more and if you want you could reinforce this last step because you will need to start your next row from here and maybe the thread will move up and down okay so now i flip and i take my pattern and in my pattern what i have next are two black beads yellow black yellow and two black beads and i will add them with decreasing brick stitch i'm taking two black beads and what I do when I make a de decreasing brick stitch, I go through the second thread bridge, not through the first one, but in the thread bridge that is between the second and the third bead of this row. Okay, I add it. And what I do next is that I reinforce those beads to stay in a better shape. Okay, just like this. Okay, and I have my first two beads of this row. And what I need to add here are yellow, black, yellow, and two blacks. And I will show you how I'm doing it faster. Okay, and now this row is ready and I will flip my work in this direction and uh, the next row you see here is also decreasing a black a yellow two reds a yellow and a black and because I decrease you know what I do I take the first two beads a black and a yellow and I go through the second thread bridge Okay, and then I go around. Okay guys and now this row is ready and I will flip my work and I'm sh I'll show you this increasing steps one more time. So now because I will be increasing in this row I will take a black and a yellow and I will go through the first thread bridge always 
when I increase, I go through the first straight bridge. Okay, I take a black and a yellow, just like this. And I go here between the black and the yellow bridge. Okay. And then I go through this yellow. Then again, what I do is to add here two black beads in this direction. And now guys, what I want to do is go back to the same place where I started this increasing steps I'm exiting out of this yellow and now what I want to do here is a red a yellow a red a yellow and three blacks and I will do this up to here of camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and after I added a red, a yellow, a red, a yellow, it's time to add this last black bead here. That I'm adding at the thread bridges. And now what I need to do is add two more black beads. And I'm adding them here next to this black one. And the last one you could reinforce if you want. Okay, and now I will flip my work and I will start a decreasing brick stitch because it comes next at my work and it will be two blacks, a green, a black, two reds, a black, a green and two blacks. Okay, so now I start with two blacks just to show you how I'm doing it. Okay, two blacks and now I go under the second thread bridge here. The second one. between the second and the third black bead and now what I do again a reinforcement to make them stay nice and always turn your work the way it's easier for you okay when I pull this is what I have and now a green, a black, add all of this sequence, okay, I will add a green, and now pause at this frame and continue with black, two reds, black, green and two blacks and I'll be back when I'm ready. Okay guys and I'm here and I just follow the pattern and this row is ready and then it comes another row of decreasing and I will show you only the first steps, a black and a green. Go through the second thread bridge. Okay, now pause the pattern and do this black, green, two greens, yellow, black, yellow, two greens and black. Okay, do this and I'll be back for this row. Okay guys, and I'm here where I just added my last black bead from this row. I'm flipping and now you see what I have here. I have incision and I'm sure you're going to be able to do it by yourself, but I'll show you only the beginning. Okay, I have a black and a yellow and you know when you increase you always go through the first thread bridge 
so it's easy and understandable. Now here add two more black beads. And from here on, I take this pattern and I see what I have here, a black, a yellow, two blacks, yellow, black, yellow, three blacks. And I'll do this off camera. Uh, you pause on this pattern and do it and I'll be back. Okay, and I added this sequence according to my pattern. You see, and here what I need to add are two more black beads and I will add them. And don't forget that at the last thread bridge uh, you add two beads, the yellow and the black, okay? Now I flip and because guys I'm sure you got the idea, now you will make by yourself two rows of uh, decreasing brick stitch and you will reach here the middle and when I'm up to the middle I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and I did now two decreasing row of beads and you see uh, the result and don't forget when you make the decreasing uh, brick stitch to go through the second thread bridge and to reinforce your beads to stay in a better shape. Okay, so now I will start a standard increasing break stitch, okay? So I will take two blacks and I will start it. Okay, and because I start increasing break stitch, I will go through the first thread bridge. And it is increasing with only one bead that is sticking out. That is why here I'm not adding any more beads. Okay, so now it comes yellow. And uh, pause this video and do this by yourself. And the next one also do by yourself because it is also increasing with one bit. And I'll be back to show you this transition here because uh, you should reposition your thread a little bit. Okay, do these two rows and be, I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I just did two rows of increasing brick stitch and don't forget that when you make increasing brick stitch you don't need to reinforce the first two beads and you add one more bead at the last thread bridge. So uh, you add those last two black beads at the last thread bridge. And now I will flip my work and I want to show you how to reposition your thread in order to start your next row. Now you mirror this side of your uh, work, so uh, maybe you won't need a pattern, but uh, I will take it anyway. So now I need a major decreasion. So what I need to do is reposition my thread to exit out of this bit and then to decrease with a black and a green. So what I do is that I go through this black and then I go through this black as well. And now as I'm exiting out of this black, you see I need a black and a green. I'm here at this row, a decreasion. And I'm taking a black and a green. And as I'm exiting here, I don't go through this thread bridge, the first one, but I go through the second where the yellow and the blacks are because guys here I'm making a decreasion okay now just grab your pattern and continue with this row and when I'm up to here I'll be back Okay guys, and now I'm here where I just added this row and now I will flip my work 
and here I will make this row two rows of increasing brick stitch and pause this video and do them and I'll be back two rows of increasing like I did before and now I'm up to here where I need to make this decreasing starting with a black and a yellow two reds a yellow and a black and uh, in order to do this I will flip my work and I will reposition my thread it will exit out of this black bead here and let me remind myself what's coming up next a black and a yellow and two reds okay I take a black and a yellow and because I'm decreasing I'm going not through the first thread bridge but through the second counting from where I'm exiting out of and what I do next is the familiar reinforcement now pause this video and add two reds yellow and a black and I'll be back okay I did it and what comes next are two rows of increasing brick stitch and I'll be back okay and I just did this row and now I will flip and what I need to do is this row of only three beads and which is decreasing uh, and I should reposition my thread like I showed you before it should exit out of this third black bead in order to add it okay now I need a black and a green and I'm going through the second break, thread bridge of where I'm exiting a black and a green and I go through the second thread bridge then what I do because I'm decreasing is reinforce just like this and I need one more black bead to finish this row okay now I flip and I need what I had here in the beginning a row with four black beads and a row with five black beads and I'm increasing which means I go through the first thread bridge and then at the last one I add two beads okay I'll do this and I'll be back okay and here I am guys where I'm adding my last bead from this row and here I will show you how to attach your earring finding and in order to do this I want to reposition a little bit my thread now I'm exiting here then I want to exit through this bead the second one counting from here in this direction then what I do is that I take my earring finding two seed beads earring finding and two seed beads and uh, I have this and now what I do is that I go here skipping one bead and through the next one in this direction okay now I have this and I want to reinforce so what I do is that I go again in this direction and then I go back here to reinforce it and uh, the good thing about this work is that you don't need to make knots you could just go through some beads in this direction then in that direction and when you go a lot of times in both directions it's time to cut your thread and your staircase earring is ready okay guys and now my 
staircase brick stitch beaded earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Bye bye from me!